beautiful. It's as if we are seeing the universe and the stars, and the courgettes or the stars is completely mesmerizing. Today is going to be a very, very hot day. They are predicting about 36 degrees and that is a lot for Belgium. And we're going to sweat a lot, so we're keeping the doors and the windows closed. It is not an ideal day to freeze vegetables, but I have these courgettes since a few days on my counter and I really really want to freeze them right now. I have two different kinds of courgettes and you may call them zucchini, whatever you want, but in my mother tongue we are saying courgette, so I'm using the word courgette too. The two different kinds are the Black Beauty Superba and also the Black Forest uh, the Black Forest F1, they grow in a different way. For the first kind of courgette, they say that you have to pick it quite early. The courgette still has to be young, but unfortunately I missed some of them and look what I got. I just got some huge courgettes. I know they can be bigger. I remember there was this time when I was a student and I worked in a big freezing company. During the night shift they got some uh, zucchinis or courgettes and they were like twice the size of this and then even bigger like that and we had to cut them in half on a knife so they would easily go in the machines. The second one was supposed to grow a little bit more upstairs, it would have been a climbing kind of courgette, but it didn't really climb, it was more of a crawler everywhere, so in the end it took up a lot of space. I will freeze my courgettes in three different ways. The first one will be in small cubes, because I like to prepare my courgette with a little bit of butter or oil and just let them get brown. The second one will be spiralized. I have my spiralizer here. That is very, very tasty with shrimps, for example. You use it as pasta. And the third way will be shredded, so I can use it for recipes like zucchini bread, courgette bread. It's a special kind of cake. It can be very moist. It is absolutely delicious. Well, let's get started and we'll start with the first one. First one will be the small cubes. I will have to blanch them, put them in the hot boiling water. And after that, I will put them in ice cold water so they stop boiling. And then they are ready to freeze. For the spiralized courgettes, I am also going to blanch them. For the third way, I am not going to blanch them. I'm just going to shred the courgettes and put them in little bags. To shred them, I'm going to use this tool. You can put small pieces of courgette in it. You, you close it and then you turn it. I got this tool from my mother. She's had it for years and years. It's, uh, it's called Mouli Julienne. You have different parts that you can put inside. Voila, you have these, but also with bigger holes. But I'm going to use this one today. This tool was very useful when we all lived together. My brothers, me and my parents. We were six in total, four children and my parents. And for example, when we were eating carrots, it was very easy to prepare them raw. You just had to do it like this, add some more carrot, 
and it would make big piles because we could eat a lot. As I already told, I am going to prepare them in different ways. These two I will cut in little cubes, these two I will spiral and this one I will shred. I have also these two left, they're a little bit less ripe, you can see it. I'm going to use these in my courgette or my zucchini bread. I've already washed them, there was a little bit of dirt on it and also some leaves from different plants. I washed them and dried them. Now I'm going to cut them in smaller pieces. I prefer the size of these cubes. They're not really cubes, they're more rectangular, but I like this size for my dishes. Now I have cut all the courgettes and I am going to blanch it in different parts, not all at once because that is too much. So I may try to put all the cubes in it anyway because they have to blanch for about two minutes and that is quite a long time. I'm going to put a timer on two minutes and put in the vegetables. And now in the cold water. As you can see, I have put all the courgettes, the little cubes on a towel so they can dry a little bit. And now I'm going to take my bags to put them in the bag and straight to the freezer. With some advice, it is good to write the date and the content on the bag before you put everything in the bag because once it's in the bag the outside can get a little bit wet or it's just deformed and it's not easy to write on. I prefer to take smaller bags because then you have smaller portions and sometimes I cook only for myself it's not always for two persons then I can just take one bag and that's enough just for me. When you're using these kind of locks, it is a good idea to fold the border so nothing gets wet. You put it gently in the bags so they don't get all mashed up. Now you take the bag, I always tell this because it's just so important, you don't Close it completely. You see there's quite some air on it. It's like a slightly blown up balloon. And you push out all the air you can get out. And then you close it. Now it is not vacuum, but it's already better. Less air in the bags means that your vegetables stay better for a longer time. Maybe you have a machine to suck out all the air. I don't, but that's always a better option. Now I have five freezer bags, stackable freezer bags, and I'll put them in the freezer. Now I am going to spiral two courgettes. I'm just taking off that little but so I need to be careful what I'm doing because sometimes I accidentally put my hand inside and it's not really graceful to put your hand inside because you cut it and it hurts. 
Oh yes, this is nice. You should preserve the smaller crochets for the spirals. And now gets is the tricky part because this is where I put my fingers in it quite a few times, trying to get as much out of it as possible. I am not going to do that now. And I will stop here. This is my limit. This is where I draw the line. Now you put salt on it so the juice gets out of it. And you can put quite some salt on it. While the spiralized crochet is soaking with the salt, I am going to prepare the shredded crochet. will be blanched and I'm going to boil my water, blanch it, put it in ice cold water and in the freezer bags. While I'm waiting for the water to boil I see that the juice from my spiralized courgette is already come loose quite a bit and I'm going to get out the rest of the water and let it drain for a moment. I'll prepare my bags for this one. I will call it courgette spaghetti. Then I will put them in small portions in bags. Some very long bits there. Okay. And these, trees bag these three bags will go straight into the freezer. Now I'm going to blanch the shredded courgettes. I will do this for less than two minutes, maybe one minute, because the pieces are so much smaller than the cubes and I don't want it to become completely mashed up or messed up. When I am taking out the shredded courgette, I am not taking out too much at once because otherwise the water cannot drain and I really want the water to drain as much as possible because I don't want my towels to be soaked from the first part. River, wider than a mouth Crossing you in style Someday You dream maker Heart breaker Wherever you're going I'm going your way Now we have all the shredded courgette nicely spread out over some towels and I will use a last towel to gently get out the top layer of water I'm not pushing it too hard just gently rubbing you can already see some water getting through Spread it out and push out the air. Oh, 
Pula, they're scooching, getting out of there. No, get inside. Don't go out. It's dangerous. You'll burn yourself. Three beautiful bags to put in the freezer. We've frozen all the courgettes at once. This really drains my energy. Together with the heat, it's getting so hot in here, but outside is so much worse already. I hope you enjoyed this video and I inspired you to freeze your courgettes yourself. You can use courgettes from your garden, of course, which I absolutely recommend. But you can also get some courgettes in the grocery store, of course. Store-bought is also very good. I wish you really the best with all your freezing adventures. I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe to my channel and also click the notifications bell. Bye-bye!